Marketing using Think with Google. Think with Google enables people towards better understanding of the consumer and the product. Marketing journey when there are so many speculations out there that could easily distract you to invest in the wrong product. If you are planning to start or have already started the marketing campaign for your product, from this video you are going to learn how marketers utilize an insight for driving growth along with giving fair ideas to initiators. This leads to achieving their goals of approaching audiences with new ideas. I'm also going to introduce to you a very powerful tool called Think with Google. Again, I'm not being sponsored by anybody for recommending Think with Google. It's just so powerful and I found it extremely useful to grow some of my business and I thought I would share it with you guys as well. Hey everyone, this is Grace Stone. Hope you're enjoying my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Now let's get right into this video's topic. when it comes to marketing, the most crucial thing to understand is that any type of high quality content can gain importance in the market through marketing. It is not concerned with a particular industry. It depends on how you are going to present it in front of an audience. Again, make sure the content is of super high quality. See, the customer demands changes within time. It is very dynamic situation. Tracking these changes with your content will lead to the emergencies of business. Multi-channel marketing people also think that marketing based on multi-channel is just a waste of money. In reality, it is not true. As businesses are gaining importance through marketing at various platforms in the same way audience prefers it. So this concept of risking money in this and is not true. Because you are an audience who prefers media first, it is accessibility and ease that should be the preference because the majority of people have sites when they take time for loading. The myth is marketing is only for big players. It is also a challenging situation for an audience the type of myths that plan with marketing are just for big and no companies. It is not true. Every type of business will be benefited if you have a strong and healthy marketing plan. It will be helpful for you to craft a healthy marketable plan, which will be able to meet the demands of customers. Your products will then be able to gain importance of public through having a plan, strategy of emerging into a marketplace, achieving goals, and then compete. Do you need a website? Presently, as far as our system and media have emerged, we need more marketing over there for penetration of an emerging product. It is a source of creating an image and presenting in front of the public. Plenty of small businesses are, not, are gaining much importance today due to their marketing at media places. If you have a product, yes, you can put it on a platform like Amazon or you wish to sell it yourself, ignoring the commission, then having your own website is highly, highly recommended. Strategic marketing plan, it is assumed that writing a quality content is all you need for your marketing, but it is not enough. You have to work on strategic planning and then do it, which work in distribution way and result in emerging, emerging system. Your content can't be tracked till it is seen by people. No matter how good the quality content is, it also involves the illusion of paid search. Social media and content management platforms. It will help you monitor and improve the performance with time. What should be my budget? Budget plays the only main role in marketing, but the truth can be adjusted. It is not true. Your ways of targeting customers can be affected if you choose the right ones. Every business does not have a vast budget to spend on marketing and gain importance. You need to focus on such tools 
which will be in accordance to customer preference. In this way, your targeted audience will be receiving the same thing they're demanding. It will be effective for your product marketing. Marketing versus advertising. If you consider marketing and advertising the same, let me tell you, they are not. This is the whole other topic, which I will do a separate video on. For now, I would refer you to think with Google. Helps in giving more clarity here. It is not enough presently to provide your service only a word of mouth. You have to approach though communicating with them and creating awareness among them. You will be able to create your value in such a way. Your crazy promotions are holding an importance in marketing, but it is a myth that they are the only source of marketing. For an effective result, you have to act in a unique way following your strategic plan. When you are applying your plans, you assume that marketing will result into showing sudden results. That is not true. It takes time, which requires your consistency. For some people, social media is not an effective source. Here are some helpful tips to get, a, to get started with marketing. Number one. You should have a goal in your mind and take start with that goal. Your strategic marketing will be helpful if you are launching a new product. For this, social media, emails, and communication will be helpful for your approach. Number two, if you think that you are required to market a particular group of audience, then you need to research that type of audience you're going to target. Research and psychological information about the specific audience will be supportive for your marketing. Number three, Invest in marketing and then wait patiently. Do not expect instantaneous results. Number four, if you consider content marketing as whatever you think, then you should study your audience. You should know in which areas of your skill you are expert and how you can distinctly, distinctively make your point, which no one else can. Number five, do not just rely on a single marketing platform. Just excite all the frequencies Try Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google. Oh wait, how about the LinkedIn? Number six, you will be able to emerge in a faster way when you have your website. You are not inclined towards using Amazon or any other third party providers. Number seven, if you think that everything works online, then your marketing needs to be done both online and offline for an ease of audience. By offline marketing, I'm referring to your website. Number eight, Finally, last but not least, all these possible solutions can be practiced practically by guidance of Think with Google. Think with Google helps its customers by valuing their ideas of business and guide them towards the direction of achieving them. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like me to show you a short demo of how to use Think with Google. For now, I'm going to add links to the few useful tools that I think will be useful for learning about marketing and how to use data to your advantage. Sometimes reading books might be too consuming. What I do is I try interactive tools like this and I see that I learn way faster. Leave your comments below if you have any specific questions that I probably didn't come across in this video. I'll be happy to reply. Good luck, take care. Please like and subscribe my channel if you're enjoying my videos. Thanks.